Okay, this is Ringwalk Media in association with Bartley Colour Racing and Redline Supercars. Mr. Paul Lunan, another one under your belt. Well done. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me on. Listen, um, another good fight, getting better and better every single time you step in the ring. I still don't think we've seen the full potential yet, but a very, very confident performance. Yeah, look, I had to work to, to get a nice victory in there. Um, probably people thought it was an easy win for me, but I had to work to make that look easy. But uh, definitely not my full potential. Probably my most mature uh, performance yet. So, look, we're growing every fight. And, look, in time you'll see my full potential. But, yeah, nice little box tick there and all the titles next. It's very, very difficult when they come in and after they feel your strength, they sort of run around. It's not easy to break them down, is it? Yeah, it's look, it's tough. They know what they're doing. They're, they're well able to talk off. So you have to find holes in their defences and stuff. And I was trying to pull the guard, pull the guard off Jake to get around the guard and pull the guard high and go low to, to stitch him down, down to the body. But look, it's, they, they don't know what they're doing. And look, it's just it's great to get a nice win, win against them. Yeah. And a good six rounds this time. Yeah, so that's my third six rounder. Um, next one, hoping to kill the title late rounds. So I felt good in there for the six rounds. Well, listen, very well supported as always. Um, what's next for you? I've heard a little rumour that there's November and then there's possibly a uh, January card. What are you looking to? Are you looking to have some time off or are you going to get jump back straight back in? going to have a couple of days off, um, enjoy time with the family and then straight back into it. So I didn't take any damage in that fight, so I'm good to go straight away. I think it's maybe the end of November and then enjoy the Christmas time and then back after that then, yeah. More worried about your bloody hair, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Ever got one out of place? No, you haven't. No. It's all good. Yeah, I'll tell you something I've noticed at that fight, though. Your amateur style is slowly progressing into a pro style. It's not a great deal different, but you're starting to control it much, much better, aren't you? Yeah, look, with the amateur style, it's it's very high paced all the time. Pro style, you have to kind of sit down, touch shots, catch a couple of more angles, see. Uh, so you can take your time, really. And I'm, I'm finding myself being able to settle down, use the speed I have to touch a couple of shots when I have to but I find I'm transitioning really good and look that's uh, that's paying dividends from Unit 3 the new gym I'm training in Niall Barra he's a brilliant coach me Gary Cully Kelsey Leonard there's a couple else down in the gym we're all working really well and uh, it's a great team down there and that's where I'm learning my craft and, and all credit to Niall for, for showing me the, the pro the game and the ropes and the pro game When you come from an elite amateur background as you do, you're already kind of intelligent in the ring. It's just adapting it to that pro game, isn't it? Yeah, definitely just adapting it to the pro game. And I think my brain works that way where I can see opportunities and just take them. Um, My footwork looks good in there, but it's the brain that works all of this. So it's, yeah, look, boxing is a thinking game and I think I do well at that, yeah. Listen, as we said before, very well supported out there. A lot of people buying tickets to come and watch you and a lot of sponsors helping you as well. Yeah, I'm absolutely blessed. I just want to say thanks to uh, actually don't have it on me. Forgot off. <laughs> uh, thanks to Keysway Builders, thanks to uh, Midlands Real Estate, and thanks to Unit Three for the sponsors. And look, everyone that came up, they're, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, I wouldn't be able to do it without them. And looked at my hometown in Tullamore and uh, my local village, Pulla. Everyone's brilliant in that in that uh, area. I'm just blessed to have the support here. Yeah? So we're really looking forward to seeing the next three fights. I think that you've had a very, very good start in the pro game. And uh, I think by mid next year, you're going to be a real problem for a lot of people. Yeah, I hope so. I just have to keep working, keep working, and hopefully it will be, yeah. Paul, it's always good to speak to you. Thank you for having me on.